Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much again for joining me. So today we have another magical unboxing video. We have February's Geek Gear Wizardry box. This is super lit, you guys. They had a massive, massive issue with a specific item um, getting broken in transit to them. And obviously then they had the very tedious task of checking all of these items that they had for our boxes, checking which ones were damaged and which ones weren't, and then getting new ones out so they could ship our boxes. So they are very, very late. I've waited a long time for this box, but it is here, just. <laughs> I actually missed my postman delivery and I'm going away tomorrow, so I wasn't gonna get another chance to do this video for at least another probably week and I was desperate to get my hands on it, desperate to get this video up. So I actually chased down my postman. The poor guy must have thought that I was off my head. I went down to the depot to find out who was my sort of delivery driver person that day and I got them to actually ring the guy up and find out where he was so I could go in my car and chase him down and get hold of my box. That's how keen I was on getting hold of this box, you guys, okay? That is dedication for you. But we also got this little chewy thing as well as the box. So I'm assuming this is some kind of artwork. I know we are looking at a new artist for this month, so I'm very excited to see what that is and crack on getting into this box. So keep on watching, guys, and I will see what is in February's Geek Gear box. go for the chewy or for the box yeah I think I'm gonna go for the tube because I've never had it come separate from the actual box itself before so I might just go straight into this okay yep it is definitely a print I'm just gonna try and get it out as easily as possible okay oh my gosh that is stunning look at that I'm actually in awe of this. How gorgeous is that? That is actually so beautiful, it is ridiculous. That is probably one of the best prints that I've ever had in these boxes before. That is stunning. I mean, obviously you've got all the fishes there and the boats on their way across the lake to Hogwarts. You've got a beautiful Hogwarts castle back there, full moon. The deep, oh my God, the stars. Obviously all Hogwarts is all lit up as well. That is gorgeous, the colours that are in this as well. This is insane. That is, I'm, I'm in actually in awe with this, guys. This is stunning. This is something that, without shadow of a doubt, is going straight up in my house. I'm gonna have to find this a beautiful frame for it to go in, and this is going up straight in my living room. I don't even care. This is stunning. <gasps> Can you tell I'm excited by that? <laughs> uh, the artist is, H. Simpson. Something tells me it's Holly. I could be wrong. If I'm wrong, I'm very, very sorry. I will double check in the cheat sheet in a moment who the artist of this print is because she deserves massive, massive props for that. That is gorgeous. Okay, so we'll get on with the actual box itself. As always, I will give you a sneak peek if I don't poke myself in the face. There we go. Ooh, we have seen a t shirt on top. Ooh, okay. Yes, okay, right, so last month's box, we had a Hungarian Horntail t-shirt. Now, in my last video, I actually said that I wasn't that keen on it and that I probably wouldn't have bought it if I'd seen it in a shop. And whilst I stand by that, I've actually really come to love that t-shirt. It's actually one of my favorite t-shirts. It's a little bit bigger. I always get these things a little bit bigger than, um, than I probably need to, but I love the comfort of them. So, wow, look at that. It's the Swedish short, I'm playing with silk, Swedish short snout. Um, yeah, this is a gorgeous one actually. I love the colours, like the pinks and the blues. Um, I mean, it's not the most attractive of dragons. He looks a little bit on the, he's run into a wall side, but obviously that's the short snout part of him. But yeah, I actually really, really like that. And I'm actually really looking forward to see if we do get the other two dragons because we still have the Welsh green and we also have the Hungarian Horntail t-shirt possibly to come as well. So that'd be quite nice to have like a little bit of a series. So yeah. Big, big fan of the t-shirt. Okay, so I'm gonna move out all the wiggly worms. They are, of course, a blue for Ravenclaw. And I am seeing a wand. Ooh, do we save the wand to last? I think so. We're gonna save the wand. What else am I seeing? Ooh, I'm seeing lots of things in here. Ooh, what's this? This is in a bag, so I'm assuming there's some kind of liquid in here. So make sure it doesn't spill. They put it into a little plastic bag. 
happy with this open. Obviously looks like a potion. Oh my god, is this eh. Wow, this is cool. Ooh, okay. Right, Kiki, you have upped your game. I'm not gonna lie, this is pretty neat. This is an Amortensia potion, the most powerful love potion in the world. It's in like this triangular type shaped bottle. There is actual liquid in this bottle, you guys, and it's like really, really glowy, kind of metallic pink in here. Um, and the top, I mean, you can see it's kind of like a corked top, but it's got wax all over it. So all this down here is wax where they've kind of sealed the bottle in. So hopefully that means no accidents with accidentally drinking this kind of thing. But yeah, that is seriously cool. I mean, it's not the most obvious potion bottle shape for an Amortensia potion. Um, I do always expect them to come in like little heart shaped bottles or yeah, maybe more curvaceous bottles. <laughs> I don't know why, but that's the kind of thinking that I would have anyway. But you know, I don't dislike it. It's a very, very cool bottle and it is glass and it's really, really pretty. I really do like that. Mine has got a little bit, I think, where the wax has dripped down. So it's a little bit sort of at the bottom here. I have to scrape that off. But that is seriously cool. I really, really like that. Okay, moving the wiggly worms out of the way. We have, oh, we have this month's charm. I do have my charm bracelet right here. I'm not wearing it because um, obviously I want to put the charm onto the bracelet itself. So I'm not wearing it, but I do have my charm bracelet ready to go. This one looks like an Amortensia as well. Ah, oh, that's super cute. Yep, it is a teeny bottle of Amortensia. Oh, is my camera? Oh, again, my glare is ridiculous on this camera. I've got to get a better camera. Yeah, you can't really see it, guys, but it is a little tiny bottle of Amortensia. It says love potion on it. It's got a little love heart and some like little dotties going around the heart. Yeah, that is super, super pretty. I'm really, really excited about that. And I am going to pop it onto my charm bracelet as well. And for those of you who haven't seen the little geekier video about how to do this, the end with a clasp is actually does unscrew. And then you can pop your charm onto the bracelet itself. So there we go, I've got my two charms on there, my love potion and my head wig. So yeah, I am absolutely living for this charm bracelet idea. It's such a cool idea. So I can pop that on later on and have two charms on here. Okay, I'm seeing a box with a chest piece on the front, so I'm pretty sure I know what that is, but it looks like cool, so I'm gonna open it now. This is cool. Okay, we have another chess piece to go alongside the one we got in the Cherry Wallace box. Obviously, this is the knight, I believe, because I'm sure this is what Ron um, becomes on the chessboard in the Philosopher's Stone. So he's pretty cool. It's quite lightweight, so I think this is probably plastic. But yeah, the detail in it is pretty cool. Everything looks like it's been done really, really well. And I think he'll sit lovely on my shelves with my other chess piece. So yeah, I'm quite happy with him. Okay, I've spotted the scratch card, so I'm gonna quickly scratch this off just to see if I lose yet again. Yep, no win, better luck next time. We never, ever, ever win from those cards. Devastated, I'm starting to get complex. <laughs> okay, so we do have the print at the bottom and then the wand to go, so let me get this print out. You have nothing to fear if you have nothing to hide. Okay, again, not my favorite um, print from Geek Gear. It is a license exclusive. Oh, I believe this is something that, I never say his name right. Is it Pious Thickness? I could be saying that completely wrong. I probably am. But I do believe this is a quote from him um, because he was one of the hints this month and there's nothing else in here that is sort of saying him at all to be honest so yeah that's probably where I'm getting that reference from um I mean there's nothing really wrong with it it's just not really my cup of tea it's not something that I would go oh, I have to put that up in my house like with the Hogwarts um print that we had in the beginning that's something that immediately will go up on my walls this is something that I probably won't bother to be honest like I said nothing really wrong with it it's just not my cup of tea okay so we got the cheat sheet and the wand to go the cheat sheets have changed. There's no wax seal on here. It's a different color. Very intrigued. Okay, so we have a unique wands wand. Let's see what wand we have this time. 
Ooh, this is intriguing. Ooh, okay. Right, so we have a blue orb with what looks like, I'm assuming, a dragon claw or maybe a big bird claw. And then we have this little orange nodule, if you will, <laughs> the middle there. I quite like it. I mean, I'm not... If I was going to go to Ollivander's and I was going to choose a wand, I probably wouldn't want this claw at the end. The blue orb, yes. The claw, not so much. But the wand itself is a pretty nice wand. It's quite weighty, actually, this time. I've never known a wand to be quite so heavy. I mean, this is my wand from Geek Gear. It's the one with the blue um, little jemmy bit in the middle there. Um, but this one feels a lot heavier than this one. I don't know why that is. But yeah, it's quite a nice wand. I don't hate it at all. I do quite like it. It's just maybe if I was going to be designing my own wand for myself, I probably wouldn't bother with the claw thing. Um, but otherwise, no real complaints. It's a very, very cool wand. And yeah, I like that, to be honest. I have no real complaints. Ooh, if I get the little cardy thing. Let me go back through my box. Ah, there it is. It's hiding and draw me wiggly worms. So this is the Draco Pest wand. 13 and a half inches, core Occamy feather. Ooh, is it an Occamy? Oh, what's saying that? The Draco, Draco's like a dragon, isn't it? But is it kind of like a dragony kind of... It could be an Occamy claw. Am I completely wrong in th thinking that? But anyway, it's an Occamy feather, core with dark wood. So yeah, I do really like that, guys. It's not something, like I said, personally I would choose in Ollivander's myself. But I can appreciate the wand itself. It is a pretty nifty wand. Okay, so we have the cheat sheet. I have a very naughty puppy. Luna, come on in. Come say hello. Ugh. Oh. For anyone that doesn't know, this is my new puppy. This is Luna, Looney Luna. You know, say so I'm a very naughty puppy. I'm very, very mischievous. I'm into everything. Naughty girl. Yes. Uh, pop her back down. Okay, so February 2020. Um, okay, so we have the exclusive Swedish short snout t-shirt. That's a tongue twister. Swedish short snout t-shirt. The licensed and exclusive Pius Thickney's Fear print. Yes, I was right. Um, the unique ones exclusive dragon claw wand. Oh, I was thinking it might have been Occamy claw, but no, I was wrong. Oh, that was actually created by a Geek Gear subscriber, Kelly Blackburn. So well done, Kelly. I do quite like that wand. Got to be fair to you. The Hogwarts Lake Community Artist Artwork. This stunning artwork is brought to you by Holly Simpson. I was right. I knew it was Holly. Show Holly some love on Instagram. I am definitely going to go and check Holly out. Her Instagram handle is there. I will put it in the description down below so you can go and check her out because she needs some props for that piece of artwork. It's absolutely gorgeous. Uh, we have the exclusive Wizard's Chess Piece Night Replica, the exclusive Amatensha Love Potion, and the exclusive Monthly Collection Charm, which is a Love Potion Charm. The hint for next month is the Potions Classroom, so I'm looking forward to seeing what we get. They have, like I said, upped their game a little bit with these potion bottles, to be fair. We have already received an Amatensha Love Potion from Geek Gear before, and it was in that little heart-shaped bottle that I kind of have come to sort of think about when I when I think of Elmotensia potions and um, inside was just glitter there was nothing else um in the bottle itself whereas this is actually liquid so maybe they are just sort of upping their game and going to be doing some really really cool potion replicas which is exciting to think of um favorites what did I like what did I like well my least favorite I'm gonna have to say is the Pius Thickney's print it's not my personal favorite Pius is not really a character that you get massively acquainted with, especially in the films. Um, and yeah, I'm just not a big fan personally of this specific print. My favourite item, you know what, this has never ever ever happened before from me, from a Geek Gear box. But my favourite item has got to be this piece of artwork. It's stunning and I cannot fault it even for a second. This is seriously going in straight up on my walls. And I can't wait to display it because it's gorgeous. I really, really love it. But yeah, this was a seriously strong box. Again, you guys, Geek Gear have promised us that they, these boxes are going to get bigger and better. And so far, they are delivering what they are promising. This box was really, really strong. And I don't really think 
apart from that one print there's anything that I disliked from this box it's really really amazing so I'm really excited to see what March brings us it won't be actually too long until we get March's box because February's was so delayed but yeah I'm really really excited oh and we're supposed to be getting Luna Love Goods box very shortly as well that should be dispatching hopefully within the next week or two at most and yeah I'm really really excited to get hold of that box you guys you have no idea um yeah apart from that i think that's everything for this video i really do hope you enjoyed it if you did please give it a magical thumbs up and also if you are new to my channel and haven't already please subscribe thank you so much again for watching guys bye